You don't know the Nautic? Like, you don't know about this, man. You don't know nothing. <laughs> I remember like running down here, my brother playing one on one. It was like tied game. I like ran all the way down here and I did like a friggin' running hook shot. I'm right here. And I banked it in and I beat him. Got my first, uh, he rented me a game after that. I was here for a lot of hours. This here kind of like put me in a place that I was kind of like safe. I can kind of like be creative and kind of do what I want to do. The first time, actually, I'll be sizing up Michael Jordan, right? And then after that, you know, size up Allen Iverson. So I'll be doing all this stuff here, doing some tricks, freestyles, and whatever, right? So by watching those players, that made me who I am even today, especially going to high school. I think it was in grade eight. I put the ball through my legs, and then coach, he got mad, pulled me aside like, you're not Jordan. You're not ever gonna make the NBA, so why try that? It was tough. You know, I had coaches telling me, you know, don't play this jungle ball, that's just terrible. We don't want that style of playing here. So by me hearing that, it's like, okay, like, you don't want us to play like, <laughs> like black people? <laughs> you gotta move past it, sort of, you gotta try to bury it. But it still today sticks with me. Still does, still does. I didn't know there was a guys playing like me in Vancouver. But then when I went to Burnaby, I saw some guys that could actually play ball. I'm like, whoa. They're not making fun of me, they're not making fun of me playing, they're actually like supporting me. Top street ball players in Vancouver. It's called a Nautic. Hoop It Up was a three on three basketball tournament. It was located at Science World downtown Vancouver. Man, I remember that first game we played. We had a small crowd, and all of a sudden the crowd just got bigger and just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Maybe if I hit it off their head, I put it through the legs, stacked it back, and started to do a little dance, they'd probably go even more crazy. So let me just try it. <laughs> Everybody was loving it, man. Everybody came out to the games and watched. Even people that didn't really like us, they still came to watch. I think the city really needed to see that side, how we kind of live. We were truly trying to express ourselves as young black kids growing up in Vancouver when it comes to street ball. It's like you're representing yourself and there's no one telling you what to do. This is like where it all started, you know? Just try to make it in basketball. If I want to go to the NBA, that style of play, it was not going to take me to the next level. I had to kind of bury the street ball and play, you know, more of a structured type of basketball. I was the really talented player, leading scorer, MVP All-Stars. After the pro level, the pro stuff, the lines started to get a little bit more straight. <laughs> we always think about, you know, like how like how I came back to it again. When I first got the call to go to Japan my first time, I fell in love with the ball again. I was like, oh my gosh, the crowd's going nuts. Man. This is crazy. And I think from that point, I knew it wasn't over yet at all. The Nautic stuff was not over. Streetball was not over. No matter what, in the organized world for basketball, you don't have a lot of control. I could be myself when it comes to street basketball. That's who I am. 